Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problems of weekly contest 3 to 4 and today we will be discussing the first problem count pair of similar strings that is the very first problem and that is a you know very easy one okay so you are given a zero index string array words and two strings are said to be similar if they consist of same characters you know abc and cb are similar because you know number of characters uh, are similar like not calling it as number type of characters are similar a is also present in both the strings b is also present in both the strings and c is also present in both the strings however this a b a c b a and b c f d are not similar because if you pick up uh, the character let's say f f is not present in this string but it is present in this string okay you need to find out the number of pairs i comma g which are similar strings okay so uh, let's try to find out with some simple approach you need to find the valid pairs i comma g okay where i is going to be less than g number of pairs uh, such so that uh, string s of i and string s of g are going to be similar so uh, uh, you can see the complexity will be nothing but n square if you use the brute force approach okay so how we are going to uh, check it out the strings are similar how you are going to check it out okay so you have the strings you know a b c and any any characters you have so what you have to do is you have to uh, check it out each character like uh, you have to pick out all the distinct characters pick all distinct characters you have to pick out all distinct characters suppose the first string is a b c d b a so all the distinct characters are a b c and D. these are all distinct characters we don't count their frequencies it doesn't matter we need to check their types also suppose the string s2 has the type of you know uh, a a d d d c c b b okay so what are the type of characters present a b c d these are the four type of characters present and these are the four type of character present okay so these two strings are actually similar because the type of characters they have are actually similar it doesn't matter what the frequencies of the characters are it doesn't matter what are uh, the orderings of characters what matters is the type of characters they are present okay a is present in both the strings b is present in both the strings c is present in both the strings d is present in both the strings suppose this string contains f and this string does not contain f so these two strings are not similar okay so one of the ways to do that is to uh, store all the characters if that type if the current character is present you just need to store the character a just need to store the character b just need to store the character c just need to store the character d okay so what actually i have done to solve this problem efficiently suppose we have the characters uh, let's say a a b b b d d z z so what i have done is like i have just uh, sorted this one sorted sort it and remove duplicate characters remove duplicate characters if i am able to do that then we have only the characters that are actually present in the like well, we will have only those characters which are actually distinct and the, and that is present in the string so we will be having a b d z only if we will sort it and remove duplicate characters and we are going to do this for each string and we are, and we will be just comparing it okay so whether uh, those two strings are equal then we will say yeah those are similar strings so uh, let's look out the code that is going to be pretty much similar and easy also okay so we have this string s1 as words of i okay so you can see i have just sorted it so let me write down sort it and then we have just remove the remove the duplicate characters Okay, we have sorted it and removed the duplicate character. Similarly, over here, sorted it, removed the duplicate character. Characters. And we just take if S1 is equal to S2, then we are done with those strings are similar. Okay, and finally, we return the answer. I think this will work for all the test cases. Okay. So if you have any doubts, you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe.